Hello friends, in this particular session we will learn how to create a simple progress bar in ASP.NET. During this video, you I will demonstrate this video. I am showing you its output first. On a button click, this type of progress bar you can see. Clear? Now, there is a question in your mind that why to create a progress bar. Sometimes, this progress bar concept is very useful when your application goes live. Sometimes, your application requires a very long time to process a request. At that time, you want to notify a user that your request is processing. At this time, this concept of progress bar is very useful. Before we go through an example, I prefer you to go with MSDN side and get a basic knowledge of Ajax control like script manager, update panel and update progress. These are the basic concepts that you should know, aware, know or aware about it. Clear? Now, I will get a very short idea. Uh, I will give you a very short knowledge during this example. But in later on video, I will describe you all of these things in very briefly clear to create a, a progress bar first of all what you have to do take a simple web application in web application first you must have to add script manager why you need a script manager to use any ajax control you must have to write a script manager control so first add the script manager in your web application clear now add update panel in update panel add another node named content template and in content template add one button and on button write a click event for that i have write currently a thread maintain a thread to show a result otherwise your any logic goes here clear now, after writing update panel, you, you have to add update progress for a progress bar. For that, add update progress. In update progress, add another node named progress template. In progress template, I have created one div. This is the div that you has. This one div, right? The circle is moving. This one is added in this div and this div is a GIF image that I have added here. Loader.gif. Clear? Now, here you have to add one property that associate update panel ID. That is update panel 1. Whenever a button is clicked on that click event, I have to uh, show a progress so you have to write its ID over here clear now you don't write uh, need to write this code in your notebook I will provide a link to download a code uh, on a video description you can directly download the code from there clear uh, now just try to understand the code three steps to create a simple progress bar the first step is to create a script manager another one is to add one update panel and the third step is to uh, add update progress clear uh, please I, I, I really prefer you to go with MSDN site for a better description for a script manager update progress and update panel so you will get a better idea that uh, why what is the work of associate update panel or uh, what is the why content template is right here or why a progress template is written here clear all of these things will clear on a msdn side if you really like this video uh, now let's run a program It is taking a uh, time. I don't know why. Actually, I already run this. Okay, done. 
this one clear uh, the progress bar is showing clear uh, and this one is my facebook link you can like my facebook page and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching my video